dear students welcome to all of you in this video lesson for students of b ed second year of maulana azad national urdu university hyderabad today we will have a discussion on techniques of teaching vocabulary selection and gradation of vocabulary the topic is prescribed in the 7th unit teaching of vocabulary study and reference skills of the course pedagogy of english for both regular and distance mode students of b ed in this video lesson we will try to find out the answers of these questions what are the techniques of teaching vocabulary and how vocabulary is selected and graded in english textbooks now we know that what are the different types of vocabulary but it is the job of a teacher to develop students active as well as passive vocabulary here teachers need to play their role there are various techniques of teaching english vocabulary to students these techniques should be used in teaching learning process let's look at these techniques of teaching vocabulary the first one and the most simplest one is mother tongue association this is a common and mostly used technique of teaching english vocabulary teacher just says the mother tongue equivalent to the english words for example book b double o k book means kitab in urdu pustak in marathi and pustakam in telugu see more examples fishmonger means machliyan bechne wala hair dresser nahi dyer rang karne wala then green grocer sabzi farosh astrologer nujumi copyist naqal nawis confectioner halwai potter kumbhar so in mother tongue association teacher explains the meaning of english words into the mother tongue of students so this is the most simplest and uh, mostly used technique of teaching english vocabulary in indian classrooms then the next technique of teaching vocabulary is action association in this technique teacher associates an action to teach any word it is generally used to explain different verbs or action words for example teacher walks in the class and says i am walking and ask what is the meaning of the word walk teacher can perform all these actions in the classroom such as walking running playing sleeping reading writing talk write jump etc so a teacher performs all these actions in the class and asks the students what is the meaning of that action verb so in action association teacher explains the meaning of action verbs with actions and tries to elicit the meaning of action words then the next technique of teaching vocabulary is picture photo or poster association here teacher can show picture photo or poster to elicit the meaning of any word for example teacher shows the picture of lamp l a m p lamp and ask the students the mother tongue equivalent of the word lamp here you can see the image by photo or picture association teacher can elicit the meaning of various words from students like 
mailbox, nail, mirror. Here, teacher just shows the pictures to the students and tries to elicit the meaning of English words. In other words, picture or photo association is a look and say technique where students look at the pictures and words in English and tries to elicit the meaning of words into the mother tongue of students. Next technique is material association. In this technique, teacher shows real materials to explain words for which it represents. For example, teacher can show chair, board, etc. See this image. Here you can see different type of food items. Teacher can bring all these food items, fruits in the classroom and by showing all these fruits, he can elicit the meaning of different words that represents fruits. Teacher can bring real materials in the classroom such as fruits, vegetables, kitchenwares, etc. and try to elicit the meaning of these words, these material nouns by directly showing them to the students. So, this is material association. Another important technique is word association. There are some sub techniques of word association like synonym association, antonym association, homonym association, homophone association, homograph association, acronym association, etc. Teacher can explain the meaning of a word by associating it with its synonym, antonym, homonym, homophone, homograph, acronym, etc. Leap is the synonym or similar word of jump. Child is the synonym or similar word of kid. Old is the opposite word of young. Day and night, near and far, dry and wet. These are all the examples of opposite or antonym words. Synonym means similar words. Antonyms means opposite words. Teacher can elicit the meaning of a word by showing its similar or opposite word. For example, if he wants to elicit the meaning of the word old, he says students young, y o u n g young is the opposite word of old, o l d old. Then what will be the meaning of the word old? Here by associating the opposite word young to the word old, teacher tries to, the, to elicit the meaning of the word old. The same is with homonyms, homophones and homographs associations. Teacher can elicit the meaning of words by associating that word with its homonym, homophone or homograph. Now question comes uh, what are homonyms or uh, homographs or homophones. So, homonym means words with multiple meanings. Homograph means the words with same spelling but different pronunciation and meanings. And homophone means the words with the same pronunciation but different spellings. And acronym means the short form of a word. Here you can see the examples of homonyms, homophones, and homographs. The next technique of teaching vocabulary is definition association. Some words can be taught by giving their definitions. For instance, a pilot is a person who flies an aeroplane. A postman is a person who delivers the post. A doctor is a person who treats the patients. So, in this way, by explaining the definition of a word, teacher can elicit the meaning of that English word into the mother tongue of the student. Now, the last and the foremost important technique of teaching vocabulary is use of dictionary. Here, teacher asks students 
to see the meaning of a particular word in a dictionary. There are many types of dictionaries like English to English dictionary, bilingual dictionary, trilingual dictionary, picture dictionary, online dictionary, mobile dictionary, etc. Teachers should enable the students to refer all these types of dictionaries. Generally, a dictionary teaches the spelling of the word, pronunciation of the word, its meaning and its usage in day-to-day -day life. The next technique of teaching vocabulary is blackboard sketches. Teacher can also draw sketches on blackboard to introduce words. Students can also be involved in developing blackboard sketches of different words. Teacher can draw simple sketches to elicit the meanings of words. Here you can see there are simple sketches that represents different words. So by drawing such simple sketches on blackboard, teacher can elicit the meanings of English words. Let's see the selection and gradation of vocabulary. At present, the textbooks of all classes are graded right from standard 1 to standard 10. And the content of the textbooks is also selected and graded. There are certain principles of selecting and grading vocabulary. Let's see what are these principles of selecting and grading vocabulary. The first principle is frequency. The word which are most frequently used in speech and writing are the best words for the pupils to acquire first. Then the next principle is structural words. Structural words which help in forming sentences by linking content words should be taught early in the course. Then productivity. If a word helps in making more words out of it or related to it, it is said to be more productive. For example, strong, stronger, strongest. Teachability. Words which are easily teachable should be given priority. Then simplicity. Words which are simple in their spelling, pronunciation and meaning should be given priority over difficult ones. So, these principles should be kept in mind while selecting and grading vocabulary. You can see more vocabulary games and activities on internet. Open Google in your smartphone, laptop or personal computer. Write the title Cambridge English Vocabulary Games and Activities in search box. Download and read the book on vocabulary games and activities. It has mentioned 83 games and activities on English vocabulary. Try to download and read as many free books, materials, worksheets as you can from Google on vocabulary games and activities. So in this video lesson, we discuss the techniques of teaching vocabulary and selection and gradation of vocabulary. You can read more about the topic from the books and other resources you are watching on your screen. For more details, you can contact. That's all in this video lesson. Let's meet you next time with a new topic. Thank you very much.